All right, here we go. Many people have been asking me about a Bell's palsy facial nerve paralysis video. I'm, I'm gonna reshoot it right now. So first I'm gonna show you the needle placement of the facial nerve. The first one is right behind, this here is the tragus of the ear. An inch distal to that, posterior to the jaw, that's where you're gonna find the branch of the facial nerve. So on this diagram here, where it is, is in this region here. You wanna palpate the jaw after you palpate the, aligned it with the tragus of the ear, and it's right in behind the jaw. That's where the facial nerve runs. That's the first one. The second one here is, we find the outer canthus of the mouth. We move one inch lateral and half an inch upward. Because what we're trying to do with facial nerve paralysis treatment is to restore the function of the facial nerve. So it would be the top of the eye, the eyelid, and the mouth, anything that does a facial uh, ex expression. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm gonna turn the, uh, the Edo on. There you go. So we can see here, during the treatment, what's happening, you see the contraction of the facial nerve around the mouth, the cheekbone, top of the eyebrow, the eyelid, even into the, the nasal region, because all of these areas are facial expression, areas of facial expression. And I have this on uh, about four hertz, and I do this for a period of 10 to 15 minutes, especially, of course, if the patient is suffering from a facial nerve paralysis or a Bell's palsy. Any questions, visit acuvids.com or you can visit www.acupuncturemotorpoints.com.